Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the recap and uh, today is the 21st Tuesday. So today the, uh, the market was a little bit, you know, actually choppy a lot to be honest. Um, so it was very hard to see patterns follow, uh, follow up. Uh, so because of that, today I was actually down $95, which is, you know, which is fine for me. Um, $95, I can easily recover that, right? Um, and this is the second red day of, uh, for the month of uh, July. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's like two red days for the month so far, and it's July 21st. So we're almost at the end of the month. So, and I'm, I'm fine with that, right? If you look over here, Right, I'm down ninety five dollars and some change. So, uh, wow. Oh, and, and BEV is gonna break out if we, uh, if that big seller gets out of the way. Um, so, anyway, so yeah, if, if we look at this, right, um, we saw that there was a big seller there. So if we actually break like two eighty five area, you know, we might see a move upwards. So if I pull up, uh, pull the sub, you'll see at two eighty five, you saw a four hundred thirty three thousand uh, seller there. So if that actually breaks, as that comes down to like, you know, 400, 300, 200, 150, you know, it's going to move up. Uh, there might be a breakout, you know, uh, move like a 10, 10 breakout or it might keep going. Um, but then, you know, I'm done trading, so I'm not going to touch it. So um, anyways, if I pull up and show you my uh, the watch list, I'll pull it up from Twitter, actually. Um, so today, you know, I was watching MTV, NBEV, MBRX, LXRX, and these were, you know, maybe, um, so TNXP, again, it was choppy today. I think that's where I give profits away, but overall in general, like I was only up seventy eighty dollars on, on, at my best today. Um, uh, and then slowly I started giving away profits and it came down to negative. So anyways, let's go over, um, you know, my most valuable trades, you know, that's where you can learn something. Um, so first let's go over, you know, TNXP, right? So TNXP is, let's see, TNXP. And this was, you know, running from yesterday, by the way. Um, TNXP was choppy today as well. Um, and I tried to take trades, you know, above, you know, the uh, I think it was the break of uh let me see here let's go back and let's go back to my orders here so let's go back and uh see by the way it's down here right the order window is down here so if you come back down to tnxp see i tried to get in at okay so i got in around 226 sold something at 231 that was my i think my best move um but before that i had you know some losers i think so TNXP sell at like 215. So let's see where I got in. And it 219. Yeah. So 219 got in, sold at 215. Then got in 215, sold at 214. So it seems like I had some losing trades around there. And then 204 sell and got in at 215. Okay. So that was a major one. So let's go. At 204, I got in. No, no. Wait, wait. Let me go back. So I got in at. 215 right and then i sold at 204 okay so i got it at 215 so which was probably around i think this area right here i was expecting for this to break uh so i got in around this area huh maybe i think this was a little bit maybe later in the day i think this was around this area right here so i got in around here Thinking it's gonna push up VVAP and then actually came down and then got out at like 204, which is basically around this area right here. So that's why I give away profits. Um, but this was choppy, as you can see. You know, anytime you see a chalk that's choppy, you'll see a lot of upper wicks like like this, right? That's how you know it's kind of choppy. So you got to be careful. Um, but anyways, so if we go back and look at um, the other stocks, MTP was also very choppy. I had one trade on it, but I wouldn't call it, you know, I made some money on it, but you know, it was very hard to um, actually predict what it was going to do. So if we look at MTP, you have it up here. Yeah. Okay. 
So MTP, as you can see, again, a lot of upper wicks, right? It was very hard to predict what this thing was going to do, but this had a good run up, right? So, yeah, that was that. Um, the trade I took on it was very risky, to be honest. So I don't want to really go over that trade because I don't want you guys getting a bad habit. And I only took that trade just because I now get intuition and based on level two, that action I saw only because of that, I took that trade. But I don't want to show you on the charts because I don't want you to think that, oh, that's actually a thing. You'll develop that as you get better in trading. Um, so let's go over the next one. Um, let's see what else we had. If we go here and then if I open this up, right? So TNXP, I went over um, ONTX, um, NBEV, MTP. Um, let's see, MTP, MBRX, MBRX, I can go over that one, um, let me see if I have it up here, yeah, MBRX, if I go back here, so, MBRX, I got in for the break of this area right here, 145, and then sold some on the way up, um, and I think that gave me, you know, uh, oh no, actually I lost on this. So let's see where I got in on MBRX. Uh, MBRX. Let's go back up MBRX. Okay, so I got in at 150 and sold at 147. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so let's go back up here. So I got in at 150, I think, which was for the break of this. So I got in, I think, on this, literally on this red candle for the break of the uh, this red to green move. It actually popped up, so I got in at 150, and then it flushed down, and I got at 147. So that's where, I, you know, I took that loss on that trade. Um, so, yeah, if we go back here and come back, NBR, yeah, 23 bucks, that makes sense. Um, NBEV, I can go over that as well real quick but again guys today was a bit choppy you know it was a little bit hard to really for the patterns to follow through um yeah nbev i had gave away some profits around this area because i was trying to get in for the break of this inflection point the other reason why this was key thing because the whole dollar psychological level was there as well but that didn't follow through um so let's see so let's go back here and let's see on and BEV, I made 52 bucks, so I'm pretty sure I got in around, I got in around for the break of this VVAP push, so I got in around 275 and sold around 281. Um, so, yeah, so today, again, not much followed through, so, um, you know, had to step back and take the loss, and that loss is manageable, and that's the key thing about trading. If you have a take the loss, make sure it's manageable, right? And step back. $96 is definitely manageable and I can come back anytime. Um, so, yeah, guys. Other than that, hopefully you guys are green. Subscribe to my channel. Like my videos. That helps me out a lot so I can keep making these videos. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow.